When comparing these appliances, the Vivos appliance is actually attached to the teeth. And there's been a lot of debate about the effectiveness of actually getting expansion to toothborne appliances. I can tell you that they can work when they connect the teeth, but it takes a while and you're not going to get a lot of expansion. That's the key. Vivos appliances are for people who have small to medium amounts of deficiency. These cases are going to take a longer period of time because basically what you're doing is you're putting the pressure on the teeth indirectly that puts pressure on the palate. The tendency is to be impatient and put too much pressure on the teeth. That could lead to situations where you move the teeth instead of actually expanding the palate. So I would say to summarize the Vivos appliances actually get maybe three to six millimeters of maxillary expansion. If that's all somebody needs, they can work great. Whereas the bone level appliances, they can actually get a lot more expansion. They can get up to 10, 12, 14 millimeters of expansion and they're connecting to bone. So the result that you're going to get with the expansion is going to be much faster, more predictable, higher levels of expansion. You're not going to be dependent on attaching to the teeth and going at a really slow rate so as to not move and tip the teeth.